and welcome everybody here to Texas Motor Speedways. We get ready for rice or round number four rather of the EDRA 711 series. We are getting ready here for Texas Motor Speedway action, and we are going to take a look now at your starting grid. On the pole is Jen Tolls. Alongside her is going to be Otis Wheat in row number one. You'll notice the points leader, Aaron Williams, going to roll off from the ninth position. And then rounding out the top ten, you've got there uh, David Grubb and Charles Jackson. It's going to be a real good race tonight. we got our former winner, James Silverfox. He's starting up inside the top ten as well. He won last week at Bristol. We'll see if he can maybe go two in a row here today. So here we go. Jen Toll is about to get us underway. Green flag is out here under the lights at Texas Motor Speedway. 17 laps of racing. Let's see if we can make it all the way to the end without a caution flag. I don't really think so, though. These cars are built so that way they make moves that can pretty much cause huge wrecks here. Jen Tolls takes the lead. Otis Wheat into second, third place now. Looks like that's going to be Anna Gregg. It is indeed. James Silverfox stuck on the outside line there behind Michael Block, so he's still got to wait to get to the inside line before he can even think about coming to the front. Aaron Williams has now moved into sixth place there as he and that inside line continue to make their move up to the front. Whoa, bold move right there by the 07. That was Max Power, I believe. And, oh, no, that's not Max Power. That's Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon, second in points. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Car nearly got turned and he saved it. That was Matt, uh, Matt Smith right there. Or Mike Smith, rather. 17th in points, almost dead last, and he almost got turned by the points leader, Aaron Williams. That just held Williams up. Whoa. Williams now getting a little bit of contact there from the 10 of Max Power. Well, that's not Max Power. That's Jake Rogers. I'm getting the names mixed up here. Alex Jones right behind there. Battle on for the lead now. Josh Gordon about to lose it. Back to Jen Tolls. But Josh Gordon thought that would be his opportunity. Right now, according to our live points, he and Aaron Williams are tied for the points lead. Josh Gordon came in second in points. Only two points behind Aaron Williams. And now he's inside the top 10. Oh, contact, contact. That time it was Jake Rogers nearly getting turned. But he held on to it. Oh, we got a caution. First caution of the day. And it's Max Power sliding through the grass. The car is flipping. That was Tony Davis. Oh, my goodness. Tony Davis, fourth in points, is on his roof. Richard Johnson may have gotten a piece of it, along with Zach Corbett. But there is Tony Davis. There is Max Power. Those two, I saw Power sliding through the grass. Tony Davis was flipping wildly up into the catch fence. Leader under the caution is going to be Jen Tolls. As we look back now at a replay. Oh man, take a look at this right here, coming out of turn number four. So the battle somewhere around the 14th position there, and here's going to be the contact between Max Power and Tony Davis. Someone nearly got spun further up there too, I don't know who that was. But this one actually does happen. Boy, Max Power, he was not going to let Tony Davis go, and oh, there is also the 18 of Richard Johnson. He did get a piece of that with the outside retaining wall there. Oh man, his car got a little airborne too. And, oh, man, look at the 17 of Danny Wells. Work his way around on the high side. Nice miss there by Danny. But look at the three. Just Rick rolling. Down the front straightaway. Oh, I thought it went up into the catch fence. Fortunately, it did not. Man, scary ride there for Tony Davis. So we're under the caution for the first time today. Getting ready to go back to green flag racing here. It'll be on lap eight of 17 we're nearing halfway drivers that retired after that are the cars of max power and tony davis but also we got danny wells listed one lap down is he still on the racetrack but danny wells must have retired due to something but i didn't see him get involved maybe he ran to the back of somebody there maybe he did get damaged but danny wells is listed out of this race Here's the top 10 as we go back to green. Pace cars getting ready to peel off. Jen Toll's the leader. Anna Gregg second. Otis Wheat third. Fourth is Josh Gordon. Fifth is Aaron Williams, the points leader. Then it's David Grubb in sixth. He started all the way back, I believe it was in 30... Well, he started next to last. I know that. Alex Jones seventh. Charles Jackson eighth. Ninth is Matt Smith. Or is Mike Smith. And James Silverfox, last week's winner at Bristol, completes the top 10. Jen Tolls, she's going to have the lead now. But here comes Anna Gregg on the inside line. Otis Wheat getting moved out of, of line there. And here comes Josh Gordon right now. Josh Gordon, according to our live points, is the new points leader. As Aaron Williams is stuck on the outside line there with Otis Wheat, Josh Gordon has now got about a five-point advantage atop the standings at this moment. 
One driver we have not talked about today, he's running at the back of the pack there, and that is the 28 of Default Mongo. He is back in the 13th position, third in points. He actually came in uh, only a... no. He came back six points back from the leader, Aaron Williams, in the standings, but we haven't really talked about him. He's running here at the back, and oh, they're going to go four wide! They're four wide in Texas! Oh, they throw Aaron Williams through the grass. He's going to bring it back up. Look out. Oh, wow, that was amazing. Right up in front of Charles Jackson, and we're still green. That was great. Four wide at Texas, and they kept it together. There's Richard Johnson. He's pretty badly damaged. Josh Gordon, the leader now, but for how long? Here comes, oh, man, Alexander Jones got awfully close to that left rear. Nearly turned him around, but Josh Gordon leads the way. Second place now, that is Alexander Jones. David Grubb, after starting the final row, is up to third, and look who's fourth. James Silverfox, our winner from last week at Bristol. Trying to go for two in a row. Silverfox, seventh in points. Oh, contact, contact! Oh, man, Alexander Jones got turned, but he got turned to the inside of Josh Gordon. Guess we can make a pass on the apron, might as well do it. And Alexander Jones is the new leader here, as we have a total of six laps to go. Battle's now on for second. David Grubb has it, but James Silverfox wants it. Meanwhile, further back, Anna Gregg, the inside of Josh Gordon. That's for fourth place. Things starting to get awfully hectic here. Oh, Anna Gregg getting awfully close to being turned. No, she was able to save it. Mike Smith all over the back bumper there. Pretty interesting. Anna Gregg and Max, uh, uh, Mike Smith both run inside the top five. Now they come in in 17th and 18th in the points. And then on the other side of that coin, you also have the Otis Wheat Machine. He is up in 8th and he comes in 16th in points. So a lot of these drivers who really needed good runs today, getting them right now. David Grubb was another that was getting a good run, but he just got moved on the high side and he's been bypassed for, I believe, all the way back to 7th place. He's even getting passed even more. Anna Gregg. Dead last in points. She is to the lead now. Oh, contact there. Mike Smith nearly got turned by Jen Tolls, but he hung on to it. Well, these cars being so wide, it's giving them the opportunity to be able to hang on to these race cars. And the bigger tires, you got to think, are probably giving them better grip, too. Oh, wait a minute. What's Alexander Jones doing? Is he coming to pit road? Why is he coming to pit road? Something may be amiss on Alexander Jones' machine. He has come down pit road. Anna Gregg out in front now. Second is James Silverfox. Mike Smith is in third. I don't understand that. Let's find where the points leader, Aaron Williams, is currently running. Currently in 10th place. Looking underneath Jake Rogers for 9th. He's got Charles Jackson just ahead of him as well. Aaron Williams trying to be the points leader. And we were talking about uh, Default Mongo not making much noise. Well... He still isn't making any noise as he is way back here. Where is he? There he is, 13th place. And apparently it appears he's off the pace. I don't understand that. Alexander Jones still on pit road. Here we go, coming down to the white flag. Mike, Mike Smith is just taking the lead. Jen Tolls moves by Silver Fox for second. Looks like Silver Fox will not be able to go two in a row here. Otis Wheat now moves into third as Mike Smith is the leader. Can Mike Smith do it and pick up his first win this season? Jen Tolls, the pole sitter, right behind, would love to go coast to coast, sit on the pole, win the race, she's coming, look into the inside line, can she make the move, she's trying to, Otis Wheat gets turned, but he saves it, here they come out of the final corner, Jen Tolls tries to make the outside line work, but it's not in time, Mike Smith wins at Texas, 17th in points, next to last in points, if you're more realistic about it, and Mike Smith We'll take the checkers tonight. What a well-needed victory for that driver. Now we gotta find out where Aaron Williams finished this race. He finished in 10th position. Where did Josh Gordon finish? Fifth place. Josh Gordon may be your new points leader heading into next week. He finished five spots ahead of Aaron Williams, which means I think he would have a three-point advantage over Aaron Williams heading into next week. So congratulations to Josh Gordon on becoming the new points leader, but congratulations to Mike Smith. What a well-deserved win it was for him today here at Texas Motor Speedway. Wow. 
Certainly going to be a bit of a point shakeup, I would think. Some drivers that were doing well in points didn't do so well here in tonight's race. And other drivers who didn't do so well in the points or did pretty well tonight in tonight's race, including Mike Smith, who was next to last in points. He'll certainly benefit from this as he becomes our fourth different winner here in the EDRA 7-Eleven Cup Series. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you'll tune in for our next race, race number five. And we hope to see you very soon here on Booyaka the Dragons YouTube channel, home of the EDRA 7-Eleven Series.